Welcome back. This morning, we're going to meet a man who is fighting for the rights of new dads. He is pushing back against the stigma surrounding paternity leave. So often, dads only get a couple of weeks with their new baby, if that. But that could be changing. In 2017, Derek Rotundo and his wife Marley were expecting their second child, a boy named Lincoln. They planned for Derek to stay home with the baby for the first few months. I made a decision a long time ago that I wasn't going to be one of those dads that was constantly working, missing first home run, first touchdown, any of those moments. Working as a fraud investigator for J.P. Morgan Chase, he requested the 16 weeks of paid parental leave offered to new parents by the company. I had just asked for primary caregiver leave. I was told that as a biological father, I would just have the two weeks that's given to what they consider a non-primary caregiver. After an HR review, Derek was told that as a man, he would have to prove that his wife was not the primary caregiver. They outlined some of the hoops I would have to jump through to be approved to be the primary caregiver. Shocked by that decision, Derek contacted the ACLU and together they filed a class action lawsuit claiming that the company's policy was discriminatory against men. And just last week, J.P. Morgan Chase agreed to a $5 million settlement, telling NBC News they will, quote, look forward to more effectively communicating the policy so that all men and women employees are aware of their benefits, end quote. It's time we start moving forward. And joining us now, we've got Derek and Marley Rotundo, as well as ACLU senior staff attorney Galen Sherwin with us. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for having us. So, so Derek, baby Lincoln just turned two. Yes, uh, yesterday. Uh, just yesterday. You're still at J.P. Morgan Chase. Uh, you obviously have to be thrilled about this outcome. What about some of your coworkers? What have they said to you about it? Just congratulations. Everyone's really been very supportive. Um, I think it's a cause that you know everyone can get behind. You know, equal treatment for men and women in the workplace. Um, it's a win for everyone. So. Take you back to 2017. So what happened here? So you, Marley, you were pregnant. It was a summer break. You're a teacher. So was your plan then, um, after you had Lincoln, to go back to school and then you would stay home, right? Yes. Was that the plan? And then you turned in your application um, for 16 weeks and then it was refused. Yes. Does, and then that just set off a whole... How did you guys handle it after that? Well, I when I first asked about the leave policy, I was it, the response that I got, which was that I'm not eligible because I'm not the biological mother, didn't sound right the way that the policy was explained. I contacted HR uh, directly, and they confirmed that, and I started, like we all do, started Googling. I, like, I don't think this sounds quite right, and um, got in touch with um, the Center for Work-Life Law, who then hooked me up with Galen, and here we are today. Wow. Marley, when, when Derek came to you and, and he said, sweetie, I, I want to do something about this. I think I want to sue. Wow. Were, were you encouraging? Um, to be honest, in the beginning, I was scared. Yeah. I was scared. I was nervous. Because it's um, J.P. Morgan Chase. It's, so like, yeah. it's not like some <laughs> mom and pop. Yeah. Um, but I knew that what he was fighting for was the right thing, um, and I supported him. Hmm. So, Galen, the ACLU, ACLU representing Derek in this, in this case, how many other dads uh, are part of this, this class action lawsuit? And what does it mean going forward for other dads who are listening to this? Well, the lawsuit has, the, has already benefited dads at J.P. Morgan Chase because almost as soon as Derek came forward, Chase revised its policy to ensure that no other dad would go through what he had gone through. And going forward, as a part of the settlement, Chase has agreed to retrain all of its HR uh, staff to make sure that the policy is implemented fairly and equally and set up this $5 million fund where up to 5,000 5, dads will be eligible to come forward and seek relief for having been denied the opportunity to spend time with their newborn babies. So this is a really big deal. But even beyond the dads at Chase who have already benefited and who stand to benefit going forward, we expect that this will be a wake-up call in the financial services sector and beyond, because Chase is an industry leader, and we think that companies are going to have to look very closely at their own policies to make sure that they're fair and equitable, both in how they're written and in how they're implemented. So do you see a day one time in the future when, let's say, you know, a couple has a baby and the mom says, okay, I want to go back to work, and then the father gets three months or two months, or is that the goal here? What is the long-term goal? The goal is that families should have the freedom to decide what Who's arrangement based? is best mm -hmm. for them. Themselves. And we know that most in most families, both, fa both parents, if it's a two-parent family, are 
have an, an income that's vital mm -hmm. to their family's economic security. So that should be a decision that is left up to the families and not dictated by stereotypes that are held by the employers. We've talked about this on, uh, on this broadcast and others, um, paternity leave. Mm -hmm. um, and then just family leave in general and some of the stigmas that surround it. Um, talk to me about that, because I, I think that's, that's part of what your motivation was, to sort of change the stigma surrounding paternity leave. Mm -hmm. Well, and, you know, primarily it's that we, we don't live in the same time anymore yeah. when it's just as simple as moms stay home, have babies, mm -hmm. and cook, and dads go back to work. I mean, that just doesn't work for all families anymore. I mean, definitely, it definitely has to be, I think, a decision that's made within the individual family. And I know some people that, heck, I don't want to spend the time with the newborns and the screaming and being awake. <laughs> want to get back to work. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> that's fine. I don't, I don't recommend it, but... Yeah. Uh, well, you know, thank, yeah. that's thank you for the courage to do this. We really appreciate it. Galen, thank you, and Marley. And say hi to Lincoln. And, and what's your other child's name? John. John. Lincoln right, and John. You. All right, and we'll be right back.